Yo, what's going on? This is DJ Nakar, and in this video, I'm going to show you all how I made a beat in Logic Pro X with just very, very simple elements. Uh, and a lot of my beats, as you all may notice, it's not overproduced. I just have very simple instruments in there, but uh, I make them work very well together. Now, this beat that I'm about to show you guys, it's a beat that I produced for Wawa. Wawa is a deaf rapper. Yep, I said deaf. Um, he can't hear, but he's very talented and he has a very inspirational story. This song is called Faceless Man. And we had Adam E. on the hook. And I have links below so you can check out the song after you watched uh, after you watch this tutorial so let's go ahead and get started um, the first instrument I used is Nexus and I'm sure all of you have this Nexus is a great plugin and I just went into the piano uh, patch and I picked arena ambiance and um, it's very simple Did a A major chord. Is that what I did? Yeah. Oh, that's G. It's. And then I went down to F. Simple. And that's it for the whole record. Um, I'm not Ryan Leslie with it on the keys, but uh, I can play enough to kind of get my ideas out. And from there, I layered it. So what I did was I just um, I clicked Option. I, I held down Option, left click, and I drag, and then you can copy, you can duplicate uh, tracks that way. So that's what I did here. I clicked on uh, option, left click, duplicated, and we got with this instrument. We got a new instrument track, and I have this plugin called uh, Grand Piano from UVI. And um, I think this is a preset. But anyways, uh, I just use this as another layer. Um, to make the grand piano sound thicker. So, sounds together. And again, I uh, duplicated it and I have another grand piano patch from Piano Tech 5. Um, I don't think I did anything special with this. I just picked these cinematic preset D4 cinematic I don't think I altered this pretty much um, no. I might have messed around with the compressor or the reverb but all three of them together this is what it sounds like Now the drums, uh, I use battery for just about everything. Now if you want to mute uh, your MIDI tracks, you just highlight it and then hold down control M. See, you can mute. So that's what I did there. I'm going to solo them out real quick. I use battery 4 for a lot of my drums. Sometimes I use the machine or contact. Um, just depends on what I want to do with my drums. So uh, this is Cardiac Kit. Uh, shout out to Cardiac. Really dope kits. And this is... Let's start with a kick. 
Again, very basic. Nothing crazy. Then I added the snare. And um, usually when I'm doing my drums, um, and I'm programming, programming them and looking for ideas, where is that? what I was trying to play with. Um, I wanted something a little old school 90s hip hop with that snare shuffle. So I, I added um, some ghosts, some ghost snares there. Now let's play it with a beat. So after that, uh, I actually just bounced it out um, as is, as a rough, and I sent it to Adam E. And that's when he wrote the hook to it. Um, so I'm going to go to Pro Tools, where I finished the beat off. And again, it's just piano and drums. And let's go to the Pro Tools session. This is the Pro Tools session. You see here uh, the audio of... Uh, the pianos and I summed them into one auxiliary out. Let's see. The piano. Oops. Put the CLA guitars in there um, just to put some reverb and um, widen the stereo up a little bit and compression very s simple simple stuff um, chopped off the low end to make room for the bass and speaking of the bass here's the sub just to slide under it again nothing crazy um, it's a preset I used the bass amp uh, clean bass preset right here just to uh, make it a little bit muddy and for that I used uh, Arturia's analog lab it's gonna take a minute to pop up And I used sub bass from the Mini V. Um, this is actually a great, great plugin um, that I got with my Keylab 88. And this actually looks exactly like the Keylab 88. So I could uh, play around with it um, from my uh, controller. So that's where I got the sub bass. Oh. Hang on, Wawa. Uh, the vocals real quick so this is what the drums sound like after I finished mixing them in Pro Tools and with the sub bass in there and um, just to play with the vocals and it starts remember the whoop, whoop. I remember the stone step, I remember the pole step, I remember the pole air, I remember, I remember the darkness, no love it was heartless, the smell of something. So I'm not going to play the whole thing, um, I have Adam E's vocals here, definitely click on the link below so you can 
check out the whole song there's also a music video uh, with the song and the song is included in the album called Deaf So What it's a great album definitely go check it out buy it support local music uh, support deaf artists um, the, uh, it's, it's definitely something you've never heard or seen before so uh, once again uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. Once again, my name is DJ Nakar. Thank you so much. See you all next time. Peace.